Hey guys, Marsling in here bringing you another Dragalia Lost video and so today we have the new Trick or Treasure Halloween event that has gone live. Uh, there's a whole bunch of new quests and things to do uh, but most importantly there is a new banner which I've been saving up my Wormite for. So we're going to jump in and do some summons on that. Uh, I have quite a few tickets and things like that. So we got a new Elisan who is a light based character. Then we have a four-star dragon, the Halloween Silky, who is a four-star. Uh, that is a new five-star worm print. So full HP, get extra skill damage and blindness resistance 20%. And then you get, I'm guessing that's a buff for during the event to get more snack lanterns That has the same skill prep and shadow resistance. That's pretty good. I see. So yeah, the Elisan is the new featured 5 star. So they're just like the Lily banner, it only shows the one featured character. So we'll start off doing our daily discount single. I've got a couple of single summon tickets as well as, uh, I think I've got two multi summon tickets. So, so we're going to start off with a worm print. Not a new one. So, oh no, it is a new one. Okay. Recovery potency plus three percent. Well, I don't know which one my healer has at the moment, but that might be good So we got two single summon tickets Blue again, so if it goes gold you normally get something decent and then obviously if it turns the uh, sort of crystal rainbow color then uh, oh, That's not bad critical damage eight percent See if we can uh, actually get something really good on a single. No, so they're all going to be blue. Pumpkin pale. Okay, so at least this is going to be one of the new specific ones. Yeah, so that gives a 25% boost to snack lanterns So that's going to be useful for the event. And then, yeah, I have two tickets to do multi summons. So let's see if we can get something good in these. Okay, so it turns gold, so that's at least one four star. Although, well, there you go, so there's three. Three gold things, that's what I like to see. So, one print, another one print. Oh, and a character as well. So, let's see what we got. Oh, I skipped that first one. I'm pretty sure that was the uh, new vampire butler guy. One with the shadows. So a lot of this stuff is new because like I said in my intro video, I did uh, the three summons that you could do in a sort of re-roll scenario. And there you go, so we got him twice. So if you get a character that you've already got, it just gives you some Eldwater and you get more depending on the rarity of the character. So, Okay, we get a four star archer guy. So let's check him out. So yeah, he's the new the Vampire Butler guy. Vampire Slash is his ability. Deals light damage to all the enemies directly ahead. Strength plus 1%. That's not the best. I don't have many good light characters though. So even though he's only a 3 star, he might be pretty good. And then we've got one more ticket. Definitely want to get the... Uh, if I don't get the LCN, I would quite like another 5-star, because I'm pretty sure Lily is the only one that I have. So, Oh, we get 4 this time. Okay. Okay. So we get 2 characters and 2 worm prints. I like that. Okay, so we've got another one of those. Another one of him. So we're going to be able to feed those in. So when you get dupes of cards... Uh, the worm prints or dragons you can feed them into each other to power them up kind of like the dupe system in Dokon uh, And then obviously dupes of characters just give you some extra resources Oh Berserker Dark okay. I don't have any I don't really have any dark characters. So that's pretty good And then Thaniel, okay Another water based. So all of these characters are new to me, so Okay, so we're gonna start using our Wormite for some 
multi summons here. Oh, okay. Gold dragons at the beginning. So there you go. We get the special rainbow. So that means something five star. But what is it going to be? I think are the crystals dragons. I think the crystals are dragons. So. Another one of those, we'll take that. Yeah, so the crystals are dragons, so we're going to get a five-star dragon. Oh, I used that on one of my water-based characters, so we'll definitely take a dupe of her. Apparently it's far too easy to accidentally... Oh, why is this crazy-looking thing? Poseidon, five-star, crazy-looking... Wow, that's awesome. He, uh... He definitely looks pretty cool. And then we got another one of those. Any of the new Halloween based uh, cards are good to get. And then Karina, crazy pirate looking girl. So let's check him out. So Poseidon. Poseidon's Trident deals water damage to target and nearby enemies. When he's linked to a water based person, they get strength and HP plus 20%. That's really good. So yeah, that's a pretty good pull. I'm definitely happy with that. And then we didn't actually check what this does, because I have a dupe for this now. So blindness, resistance, skill damage, and snack I lanterns up. That's actually pretty decent. And then a we've got the four-star pirate girl as well. Well, that's not a bad start. Our first Wormite multi-summon, we get a five-star dragon. So Oh wow, okay. <laughs> Looks like we are getting some decent luck on this banner, so can we get the... Oh, is that her? Because is she a trident user? I completely missed that bit at the beginning. I might actually stop, to be honest, if I pull her, because I don't know... At this point, I'm still not sure how free-to-play friendly the game is, so I don't want to just dump all of my Wormite into like the first new banner that I've come across. So we get a cool-looking ninja dude. Uh, another mini dragon. Oh, okay. So it isn't her, but it's Zanefried, who is a five star. So any five stars we will take, because they are going to improve our team massively. And then a dragon, which is actually a unicorn. Okay. Decent light based one. And uh, that's obviously someone I've already got. Eldwater, I've not really come across any things you have to use it for yet. Um, oh, okay. That is the new vampire Alethemia. We'll take that. Or Althemia. Yeah, nice. So she's got the cool Halloween uh, aesthetic. She is a healing unit. Restores HP to all teammates. Well, my team is very water-based at the moment, so I definitely might switch my water-based healer uh, for her. Was that skill prep plus 50%? Wow. Oh, that's really good. So she can start off with 50% of her skills on cooldown already that's really good and then this is our new five star dragon frost fang deals war damage to target and nearby enemies and unlock a 15 percent buff for everybody increases the hp of the whole team okay wow this guy's actually really good by the looks of it so okay well let's do at least one more that's, that's pretty good though, for, for as far as our actual Wormite summons, we've pulled a 5 star every time. Now there's a weird rainbow thing in the background, I don't know if that means anything, I guess it does. I have no idea where any of these sum summon animations are, so... Okay, so we've got a rainbow worm print this time. Oh, and a dra wait, is that a 5 star dragon as well? Hmm. Okay. Worthy Rivals. Okay, I mean, pulling anything 5-star is always going to be good, so. I mean, that's my current healer guy. Together we stand. So much random stuff that I have no idea. Oh, there you go, so that is the original Edward, so. Oh, wow, okay, so we pulled another one of this guy, so we can put that dupe into him. Uh, dupes for the dragons basically increase their maximum level, so... 
Uh, we can get him powered up. We've got another one of those, so we can buff that one up pretty nicely. So what does this do? Broken Punisher and Skill Prep. So Broken Punisher is really good. So once you put the enemy into a break state, you deal loads of extra damage. Um, what else was... Those were the two main new ones. Um, I think I'll do one more, because then we should be able to get up to a decent amount for the next banner. And at least this one isn't going to go away anytime soon. So, Okay, so just a gold. I, f I swear I pulled my lily on just a gold when I was doing my re-rolls, but... So we've got a gold dragon and a gold worm print, okay. So that's that ninja guy again. Ah, oh, sweet, so we got the Halloween silky as well. Well there you go, we've pulled some uh, we've pulled some of the Halloween units and we pulled a new five star character as well as a five star dragon with some dupes so I'm definitely happy with that I might come back into it at some point but for now I guess I'm going to put the team together and start trying out some of the new stuff so so that is going to be it for the summons for this I might once I've checked out the Halloween events and seen how they all work and checked out the new boss battle and thing like that I'll put up some videos uh, with some better details I don't really want to just do it for the first time on camera and have absolutely no idea what I'm doing so I'll put up a video that gives some more information about that and the way it all works so so that's gonna be it for the video guys this has been the Master Ningen uh, if you liked what you saw please hit that like button and subscribe if you are new you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram at the Master Ningen or join my discord the link is in the description and I will see you all again soon have a good one <laughs>